The following program contains adult themes, nudity, and coarse language. Viewer and parental discretion is advised. It's party time! Put down your clicker and pick up your liquor! It's time for Ed's Night Party! Starring me, Ed the Sun, and my co-host, Deanna Kay! Tonight, the sci-fi geeks in heaven on Earth, and the rest of us at the set of TV's Andromeda. I get a tour of the mothership with Commander Kevin Sorbo. Plus, these two feeling fillies heat up our hot tub. For the last six years, this would have been the moment when I'd introduce my buddy, Craig Campbell. But to all things, there is a season, and six of them is a pretty good run. If you're looking for Craig, you can find him all over Europe doing stand-up comedy. He's pretty distinctive. Just look for someone that looks a lot like Sasquatch. <laughs> and now, please welcome my new co-host, Leanna Kay! <laughs> <laughs> this Craig. is what got me the job. Craig never did that for me. <laughs> uh, so, uh, welcome, Leanna. Thank you. You, uh, I understand you're having some problems with your pants, by the way? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, we play that on slow motion? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! This is the whole show. Now that's what got you the Talk job. <laughs> show and I'm a juggy girl. Yeah, well, but you, you get to speak, unlike them. There we go. Okay. Uh, but you under, before the show, you were mentioning you were having trouble keeping your pants I up. I am. See, they're coming down again. I'm like doing an Avril here. The thing is, you're a redhead. I'm surprised you're able to keep them on at all. You know what? Around you, I'm motivated. There you go. So that was, uh, a star is born. <laughs> Two stars. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, those are five star if that was a resort. <laughs> All right, so welcome. Oh, if only I had hands. Um, of course, staying with us this season is uh, our lovable DJ, the professor. Thank you very much. Thank you. You know what? What? We're looking. Where's my music? Hold on. Oh my God, it's a Ryan right Disney heck? World. <laughs> what did you give yourself? Was that a little long? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Can we hear your theme song again? Can we hear the theme song you chose for yourself? It's just more of an intro. I have one that I'm working on. Oh, no, thank you. No, you. No, thank you. You know, Stop I would that. say that uh, you. you have delusions of grandeur, but with you, I think it's delusions of adequacy. <laughs> Hey, 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 I'm looking at your outfit, yeah. and it just struck me. Has anyone told you you're white? Yeah. Newsflash! No, hey, you are Caucasian! Hey, I'm from the streets. You're from the streets? I, re I really am. Yeah. What street are you from? The Danforth. Yeah. Yeah, Greek town. Here's a, in the ongoing uh, adventures of why the professor is a lunatic. The other day, I go to a, a, a local uh, fast food joint. I get two cookies, okay? I could only eat one. I said to be a nice guy, hey, professor, would you like this other cookie? He goes to reach for it, he looks, he goes, I can't eat that, it's all burned on the bottom. <laughs> now, to show you what a lunatic he is, I saved the cookie. It's pretty right. hard to tell. <laughs> Turn it over. Burned. Where it's is a little, the burn Just that you a little, see? see on the edges? Just the, it's... You are a freak, that's a perfectly fine cookie. <laughs> just a touch, you know, just a few more minutes earlier. Get it out of that oven. Come on. Doesn't smell burned. Here, you know, professor, I want to help you get over your germophobia. Okay. I want you to eat this cookie. No. Barry, <laughs> take the cookie to him. It's nice. it really Barry. Barry, take the cookie. Barry's my last Barry Choi, a member of our staff. Yay, Barry! Barry also uh, cuts my chips because I need them cut with the scissors. Professor, as they say at the end of Soggy Biscuit, eat the cookie. <laughs> yeah, he's eating it. So is it so bad? It's not bad. I like to get the regular cookies next time, the chocolate chip. Nice. F off, it was my cookie, I offered you a bite. 
What are you doing? It's gift bag. <laughs> <laughs> now you can work in fast food. I don't know what to say to this. Hey, don't, it's off my head. don't burn my cookie, please. I look like a member of the puppet KKK. <laughs> Hold on, I'm making you eyeballs. No, don't make me eyeballs. It's all right. No, this all is right. cool. Um, okay, now, uh, the professor's uh, germophobia is raw. You're going to do this, aren't you? There he is. <laughs> Soft power. Or, or when, Excuse uh, me, I, I have to go march in Skokie. Oops. It's either that I or... I made your cigar or, um, fall. Yeah, you broke Oh, I burned the paper. Oh, oh you burned the paper! Oh. Great fireproof! <laughs> That's our fire. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, it's about time to introduce our hot tub, people. What? What? what whoa, wait, 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 what, wait, wait. What? What is with the hot tub? Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? What are those ugly, godforsaken plastic <laughs> things? What do you mean, godforsaken? Those, in fact, are gods. No, they're not. Because it's a hot tub. We want a bit of a That's tropical plastic. theme. It doesn't matter what the what they're made of. What matters is the spirit behind them. We spent a long time designing this hot tub so it looked nicer because it used to look a bit like crap. And you go and f it up with these fucking tiki's. <laughs> we ever a trucker? That was before the surgery. Oh, okay. okay. I like them. I don't. I, I want like them gone. Them. What? I want them gone. No, I think they're good. What the hell? Good, very smart. You're here to the woman. You're here yes. five minutes. Yes. And you're already making. It's just like when a woman moves in with you and makes you throw away your favorite yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know Barry may get lucky tonight. Yeah. Oh, that'll be the greatest ten seconds of his life. We have trekkers in the audience. Do not make those jokes. Sorry, Barry. I will remember, Barry, whose side you were on. I will remember. This is shaping up to be a bit of a battle, all right? Well, it's time to introduce the lucky stiff, and he will be, um, who's going to be in the hot tub, being entering, entering to the uh, Wank Tank Hall of Fame. Please welcome, Dre! <laughs> Dre? All right. Apparently his name actually isn't Dre. What is it? Andres, Andres. Camilo Venegas. Yeah. It's what? Andres Am Camilo Venegas, but I just go by Dre. Yeah, yeah do that. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dre, are you ready for to meet the ladies? I am indeed. Okay, please welcome Candace and Chloe. Candace, Chloe! <laughs> Epiphany. All right. This is a, this is important. This is this is a major turning point. Okay. This is going to be really stupid, isn't it? Hey, <laughs> have some patience. Okay. Yeah, they're going to have an epiphany. All right. Like, this has obviously happened to many of us. All right. You have something to eat, like a big lunch, and you get in your car to go somewhere. You get stuck in traffic. Your bladder feels like it's going to explode, or you ate like some Mexican food and it ain't your bladder that's going to explode. And you're like your, your eyeballs are are swimming, and not only that, it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon and you're really tired too because your circadian rhythms tell you to sleep. You're stuck in traffic, you've got nowhere to go to the bathroom, and you've got nowhere to just lie down. It's not safe to be doing this. Now, hotels, too expensive to stop in just for that. Uh, restaurants are customers only for the bathrooms, and gas stations are filthy in their restrooms. So necessity became the mother of invention. I've come up with something that is not a hotel nor a motel. It's a no-tell. A place where people can pull in, spend 20 minutes taking a, you know, a little snooze or using the facilities. It's called Ed's Nappin' Crap. You had me until the title. Ed's Nappin' Crap. This is filling a gap in the market that was sorely needed. All right. All right. Just 
hypothetically, how big's the room? The room is like, uh, it's like a 10 by 20 room. Okay, okay so it's like a jail a cell. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a, you've got a bed. Okay. And you've got a crapper. Who's gonna clean it? Uh, the rooms? Yeah. So we've got, there are people, this is, come on, this is a sanitary facility. No, it's not. You're coming in, you're taking a shit, you're leaving. You can't even, you know. Who's to say that everybody makes a mess? Taking a crap is necessarily unsanitary. Have you ever been to a public washroom? This isn't a public washroom. No, it's a private washroom. It gives it's people like a hotel, but not a hotel. You have a room, you have a bed, you have a toilet. It's not like a public bathroom. It's a step up. You can't lie down in a public bathroom. At least it's not advisable. Okay. How long do you have then to sleep and eat? 20 not minutes. Eat 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes to sleep and take a dump. You're right. 25 minutes. <laughs> do guys crap faster than women or something? Oh, like, yeah. Man, that's like land speed record for hitting the bull. You don't have to laugh and crap. Okay. It could be eggs, nap, or crap. So is it cheaper to... Ch <laughs> nap or crap. Yeah. So is it cheaper to just crap? No, you're paying for the room. What you do in it is your business. Why would you, you can go, go in and neither, not gonna, you can not go gonna... in and neither nap nor crap for all I care. It's provided as a service. So this is gonna be a hooker hotel, essentially. No, what are you talking <laughs> about? this into seediness. There's a bed, there's a crapper. 25 minutes, what else are you gonna use it for? Come on, you're making, a, you're making this seedy. That's what they're gonna use it for. Seed is the operative word. I don't wanna sleep in a bed where someone's just shit in the toilet and then jizzed in the bed. <laughs> Understanding. It's a clean, comfortable room with a bed and a toilet. You laugh now. I'll laugh later. <laughs> You're not with me on this. No, you don't I... understand it. This is a guy thing, obviously. Men okay. are, there are men out there right now. When I mentioned Ed's nap and crap, they rose from their easy chairs and were just screaming, yes, Ed, yes. It was, it was like religious music wait, playing. Wait, wait, wait. You have a lot of guys screaming, yes, Ed, yes? Shut up, OK? <laughs> I'm telling you, this thing's gonna be huge, all right? And then, when I'm rolling in dough and diving in the, the, the dollars like Scrooge McDuck... It'll okay. splash you and pick your pocket. Okay. There. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, when we come back, more on Ed's Night Party, plus the uh, Close Encounter. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Stick around, Ed Head. Coming up in space, no one can hear you scream, but on a soundstage, the audio is pretty good. Kevin Sorbo and the cast of Andromeda take me to their bosom as I go backstage at TV Sci-Fi Hit. Plus, more aquatic antics in the Wank Tank. So stay tuned. Jumping up and down. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Okay, that. Before the break. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> See, this is a problem for you that when you jump up and down and your boobs uh, wiggle, yeah. your pants fall down. For yeah. me, not a problem. This is the difference between men and women. Plumber butt is not attractive on anyone. Oh, it, no, I beg no, to no, differ. No, no, no. It doesn't matter how good your ass is. Oh, I beg to differ. What? Okay, that's attractive. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'll just won't pull up my pants anymore. No deal. <laughs> okay, let's see how they're surviving over there in the tub. How's everybody doing? There? Wait, uh, oh, where, where? That, uh, okay. we got a little, uh, it's like trading spaces, but it's it's trading tops. Kind of. Uh, oh. we're, we're missing two ducks, though. We can't <laughs> you can't seem to find two ducks. Oh, I see. There. Uh, wow. He stuffed his top with two ducks. <laughs> We're gonna get PETA calling us. <laughs> uh, now, was the tub just so hot, uh, Candace, that uh, you felt the top uh, was just extra? I got so hot, you know, you know? I just felt a little cold, too. Oh, <laughs> You're getting, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
See? Oh. Candace was giving her bedroom eyes. Yeah. Of course, if I wanted to see Candace's eyes in the bedroom, there'd have to be a mirror from the direction I'd be going at her. Anyway, um, um, well, the antics in the hot tub are uh, out of this world. Uh, so is this week's Close Encounter. I go on the set of TV's Andromeda. So uh, they got some hot chicks there. Let's take a look. This week's Close Encounter. Andromeda is one of TV's most successful sci-fi series ever, entering its fifth action-packed season. And to celebrate its landmark 100th episode, they decided to engage in some stunt casting by having me make a guest appearance as a villainous Nietzschean, brother to departed hero-turned-villain Tiran Asazi, in a scene with Nietzschean villain-turned-hero played by Steve Basic. You think this uh, Nietzschean thing's working for me? I think it's very good looking. You think it you, works? You, you could have replaced the one that left the show. Yeah, Ed Anasazi. <laughs> what do you think? Is that got a ring to I it? Like the, I like the cheese grater idea. If you're having a parmesan right now, I could kind of grate off a little bit for my pasta. So um, I'm going to be a new character on the show. I'm Ed Anasazi. Right. And I show up in a, in a sister to the uh, Eureka Maru. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Eureka booze. <laughs> right. Mm. Yeah, what are you drinking? I just, um... A little bit of vodka. A little bit of vodka? That's not a little bit of vodka. Well, there's some lemon in there. Uh, now, uh, here's what I'm thinking. All right. Okay, it's your uh, 100th episode. It is. Happy okay, birthday to us. Yeah, happy birthday to Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, so here I'm thinking you got to, like, maybe, you know, make a big event besides having me on. Um, maybe, like, do some crossovers with currently say. popular shows. What, 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 like, what, so what, you and somebody else would be like, it would be like the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Two great tastes that taste great together. Like trading spaces. You and the cast of like Battlestar Galactica, you guys could like screw around on each other's bridge. Yeah. So what, 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 what's the motivation? What do you usually draw upon? Who are your role models when you're, you when are. you're delivering your, me? Yeah. Really? You came before I did. Right. Yeah, never mind. I wasn't touching that, Steve. Mm -mm. I'm not used to seeing you in, in like earthbound clothing. Yeah, I'm wearing a t-shirt today. Yeah, that's what, you know, if you were to wear a t-shirt on the show and then like wind up somewhere, you know, like a rainstorm, yeah. Something like that, like every episode. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, I see where this is headed. Yeah. So what's what's scarier to you, the Magog or the fans at comic conventions? All right, let me That's make it easier. Let me make it easier. Question. What smells better? The Magog. Yeah. Why are you gritting your teeth? Because it's cool. Yeah. You like? Oh, These oh, are good. oh, These oh. Are good. I feel that and even through the mesh. Room. Is that your thumb? You're just happy to see me. I feel this is getting twisted in some way, but I'm not quite sure. Well, you've been eating cream cheese? That might be breakfast. I don't yeah, know what wait. Is. Look at you, slob. What do we got here? Well, we're going to do a tour of the um, medical deck. All right. This is where, like, you know, you guys get a little case of space clap or something like that. You got to come right. in here. You got a good grip there, right? OK. So what would be happening here? So you'd oh. be like, oh. Um, that's not good. You broke it. I broke it. You broke the examining table. <laughs> So what would happen here is uh, I would lay down and be examined by the uh, medical officer, Trans Gemini. Right. And then I would be fixed. You'd be fixed? In a, some space way. I had that happen to my dog. <laughs> oh, God. You're going to have to lose a cigar. Have to lose a cigar? I think so. Why? Because you just uh, pulling your weight as the star now, no, Kevin? No, is that it? No, You're no, just no. trying to jerk my dog? Oh, I'm the star. I'm going to make him lose a cigar. We're trying It's to, a power it's, trip with you, know, isn't a, it? It's a family show. It's a family show? That's right. All the fighting? That, well, you know. You've got the Magogger implanting people with eggs, yeah, and it's we, a family show? We want kids to fight but not smoke cigars. Would you adjust my breasts for me? Yeah, I can. Thank, thank you. No matter where you go backstage, from cop shows to westerns to sci-fi, the crew still dresses like they're at a luau. What are you all waiting around doing nothing? Good gig you got, huh? Just standing around all morning. What is this, a government gig, huh? Get to work. Okay, you heard that, guys. Here we go. 100th episode, take one. Yep. A marker. In the recovery, we're following you up. Lock them from there. And... Action. 
I showed up on set just in time to see series star Kevin Sorbo engage in some fisticuffs with his guest star, scary movie star Lachlan Monroe. And while even well-staged fights can sometimes breed hostility between actors, Kevin makes it a policy to soften up the tension by giving his fighting partners a nice soft hickey. And in show business, even the tough guys take the time to enjoy a queer eye for the straight guy moment. You thought we were allies. The whole cut, 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 cut. What? Cut, cut, what? Cut, listen, uh, what the hell are you doing? Uh, this isn't working. I was just getting started. Well, that's not what we talked Let about. Let me get out three lines, okay? No, listen, it's not what we talked about, though. What, uh, are we, what, what did we talk about? You said do the thing dramatically. Can you try anger? With a bit of denial? Anger with a bit of denial? Just try it again. What the hell is that, anger with a bit of denial? What's some advice you can give me for being a Nietzschean? You're freaking me out, man. What? You only thought we were allies. All along, I was planning. Cut, cut, cut. cut. Oh, uh, for, like, can you let me get a little further next time? Have you really been drinking? Yeah. Just this is what you do? You give people vague directions okay, and expect them to sort of make sense of it? Were these dreadlocks really just for the show? Let's do lunch. You call yourself a Nietzschean, but you serve on a Commonwealth ship? Yes. Don't cry, Nietzscheans don't cry! What's the matter with you? It's because I can't sweat. Ugh. This is what my pride has come to. Tears! <laughs> no tears gone. Yes, and I am his brother, Ed Anasazi, of the Kodiak Pride. I tell you, I like your dreads. I've had it with you. Thank you. Yeah, they're all week. Tip your waitress. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. Too kind. <laughs> and I carried you all the way through that. Yeah, I carried you through that whole scene. You were good. Yeah, no kidding. Good. Quit kissing up. It's a prima donna, you bitch. Hey! Okay! She thinks she's in New Orleans. <laughs> All right. Take it off! Okay, uh, that's uh, almost the end of the show. Let's see how they're uh, surviving over there in the tub. Dre, you gonna find girls uh -oh. wilder than them? Tina, oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just hope not that we don't get the microphone wet. Uh, uh, Leanna, thank you for uh, your contributions what, thank you. to this program. You mean I wasn't looking there. <laughs> All right. He's such a gentleman. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Like I always say, I'd rather be a smartass than a dumbass. And if you don't have anything good to say, say it often. Good night.